Sorry about that. I had to take that one. That was actually a friend of mine who is also a cancer survivor. So that gave me a chance to collect myself. I don't know how to link the two movies, so this is like a part two. Um, all right, so, um, all right. So it's been five years. I was type 1C and I'm supposed to be cured. And um, I had been going as, as awful as it is. Been going to my gynecological oncologist say that five times fast for all of my appointments at first it was every three months and then it was every six months and actually in my case it's been every six months for now it's been it was five years May 26th 2004 and we were we celebrated five years which is the magic magic number and um, it's just so ironic that I got my tattoo. I had been planning for a, all that time, five years. And then, um, gosh, weeks later, my doctor calls me to tell me that suddenly my cancer marker has jumped up beyond the normal range. And uh, all my whole plan flashed in front of my eyes and this actually may mean no doctor is going to give me tea if I have a recurrence of cancer. Um, they took out everything female related. I mean I still have the bonus hole but there's no cervix. There's nothing up there. They even took out omentum which is like the mesh covering in your abdomen. So, I mean, what's left in there is, you know, guts and, I guess, intestine and liver, pancreas, gallbladder, I don't know. So, it's still considered primary ovarian cancer, which is like, you know, those parts weren't supposed to be there in the first fucking place. And they got sick they were taken out. I did my six months of chemo. I did my time. And I'm supposed to be fine. I'm supposed to be going on tea and getting on with my life and finally being happy. And now the brakes are on all of that and tomorrow morning, thank God I don't have to wait very long. Tomorrow morning I'm having my PET scan and I'm just going to uh, keep breathing until I get the results and I will give you an update. But uh, this really amplifies the message that I've been trying to get out which is if you have parts of you that are female, especially those related to cervical and ovarian related cancers, breasts, as much as we hate dealing with them, they can fucking kill you. We all know the most famous example. And, uh, I don't want to be another one. Jesus, that's her again. Hey, what's up? Okay. Okay. Hmm. I would. Um, I have to talk to Robin because we have one more window we're supposed to install in. No, not yet. She's in town. Thank God she's in town. Un yeah, she doesn't leave town until the end of the month. But it, we might really enjoy something like that. So let me ask her and see if we can't move the plans that we have. And I will talk to you later about it. Okay.
Awesome. Thanks. Take care. I'll see you later. Bye. Sorry about that. Um, so, ovarian cancer is known as the silent killer because the symptoms are so subtle um, and they can be mistaken for so many other things that it creeps up on you. And look at me, I'm pretty well educated about it. But um, if this thing has started to grow again, it's been within the last six months. So um, I can tell you this, when I was first diagnosed, the type of cancer that I had was so, um, how do I put it? It was, the type of cell was so quick, quickly replicating. It was the fastest growing type of cell that I could have had. Uh, which means had I waited another six months, another year, until I had symptoms, the staging would have been much worse and the uh, survival rate for the later stages is horrible. Um, you can look those numbers up and I just don't have the energy to read this stuff off to you, but um, I, I just wanted to uh, give a shout out to all the guys that have emailed um, I've told one or two of them, and you guys know who you are, and I really appreciate all your love and support, and I will get back with you when I know more, but for now, the T is on hold, and that sucks, and um, I know this won't kill me, and I know that I can take it, because I took it the first time and I got in great shape afterwards. I don't want to have to go through surgery and chemo again, but I must say that I look really good bald. So um, I might be all upset for nothing. I don't know why this, the, um, the CA-125 would go up though, so I'm just trying to prepare myself for the possibility. And um, I haven't told my family because um, uh, it's, there's nothing to tell them yet but I wanted to tell my community because you guys probably know more about me than my family other than my girlfriend and I will keep you posted. Take care.